Among the many things that Sweden is known for is its long-standing tradition for producing pure, high-quality steel. Now, if you're looking for steel that can withstand extreme conditions, there's only one, Hardox. We're here today with a container made from Hardox 450. Now, I'm told that this is the hardest and toughest steel in the world, that it can withstand virtually any kind of destructive force. We're here to put that to the test. Behind me here, you see the strongest man in Sweden, Anders Johansson, along with his strongest friends. Over six feet tall, 305 pounds of muscle, Anders held the world record for lifting 975 pounds. Anders and his buddies are gonna be putting this container under some hard pressure, using machines and heavy tools to try to destroy it. But can they succeed? Let's see what the experts from SSAB have to say. I think the container will be put under tough pressure by these men, and they do look strong. But I don't think it will be any problem for our hard of steel container. We test the steel, and we test the steel applications with the help of computer simulations, so-called finite element analysis, where, for example, the impact of a falling object can be analyzed. On top of that, we also do real-life impact tests to be sure that this will be no problem for our container. Well, this guy can lift more than three times his own body weight. Oh, I think it's going to take much more than raw muscle power, but we'll see about that. Uh, we're going to test the container afterwards by lighting it up from the inside and then check for light leaks. It's time to bring it on. Now it's nighttime. Anders and his men are still working on the container. And as you can see over my shoulder, these guys are getting pretty tired. I think it may be time to call it off. Okay, guys, you're done. Thanks very much. How does it look? It seems to be completely intact. They only managed to scratch the paint. These amazingly strong men didn't stand a chance against the hard ox wear plate. But the question still remains, can they withstand our next challenges? Behind me here, you see a powerful crane. This crane can go up to 60 feet, and it can lift more than 24 tons. We've instructed our crazy crane operator to destroy the hard ox container. He's gonna put it to the test by dropping all kinds of heavy objects onto it and slapping it around. The question is, if the hard ox wear plate container can take the beating. Let's see what the experts from SSAB have to say. I don't think it's going to be any problem for the hard ox container. We have done computerized calculations, FEA, final element analysis, simulating these drops. We have developed the plates for the last 30 years. 
I don't think it's going to be any problem with the crane test today. Well, you know, they're going to be even dropping cars on it. I think it's going to take more than that. And we'll do a final test afterwards to see how the container stood up to these tests. We're going to fill it with water and then see if anything pours out. It's time to bring it on. He's gonna lift the whole container up. The experts look worried. Well, we saw the car try and take Hardox. Looks like now Hardox is gonna try and take the car. This Hardox container had a really tough time today, and that crazy crane operator, let's just say he'll be keeping his nickname. So, uh, how does it look? There are no leaks as far as I can tell. I don't see any leaks either. It seems to be wholly intact. Well, the powerful crane and the crazy crane operator couldn't break this Hardox wear plate. But the question still remains as to how indestructible this Hardox wear plate really is, and if it can resist our next series of tests. Behind me is a monster machine, a powerful earth-moving truck that weighs over 26 tons and has the power to lift more than eight tons. This machine is controlled by an operator who's not afraid of anything, and he'll stop at nothing to break our Hardox container. Can he succeed? Let's see what the SSAV experts have to say. The Hardox steel is designed to handle impact, actually. It's a combined effect of uh, hardness and toughness, dent resistance in the material that will protect this container, so I can't foresee any problems. Well, it is a powerful machine, and it's going to be ramming into this container at full speed. The container wears the hard oxygen body sign, which is a guarantee that a container or a truck body or a bucket is made out of genuine hard ox wear plate. And with hard ox, a container like this can be made very light and still very strong. It's time to bring it on. He's going to push the container off the cliff. <laughs> the experts didn't see this one coming.
the container took a beating today. Now, the experts have had a chance to take a closer look and analyze these impacts. Let's find out what they're thinking. We didn't find anything on the container except dirt and scratches on the outside. So now we're going to do the final test to see if it's broken or not. We'll turn it upside down, fill it with smoke, and then look for leaks. So, how does it look? Uh, it's no smoke as far as I can see. Oh, it seems to be whole and intact. Well, the wild driver and his monster machine couldn't beat the hard ox steel container, even with his steel bucket, steel forks, and several attempts to try and break it. But the question still remains if it can resist our next set of tests. See you next time on the Bring It On Show. Behind me here is a crane with a two and a half ton wrecking ball. This demolition tool can turn an entire building into a pile of rubble in minutes as the ball delivers tremendous force into anything that it stands in its way. Behind the levers of this machine is a demolition man that would just love to destroy the hard ox steel container. The question is, can this container made out of hard ox wear plate survive the beating of a wrecking ball? Let's see what the experts from SSAB have to say. This uh, wrecking ball is really a mean and tough opponent, and the container will be beaten up, no doubt. Our uh, tests and finite element simulations of the impact show that the container will probably get dented, but not cracked. Well, when you think about how this machine can take down entire buildings in minutes... I think there'll be no problem for the container or the wear plate. It has been through a lot of very strenuous tests already. We can hardly see any damage, only on the surface. But we'll see about that. We'll do a final test, fill it with water to show it's intact. It's time to bring it on. He's using the whole container as a wrecking ball. This is going to be really hard on the hard ox. Well, it was demolition time for this hard ox steel container today. Now, the experts have had a chance to look at the data and crunch some numbers. So let's find out what they're thinking. Well, that ball was really tough on the container, but the only damages we've seen so far are smaller dents, just as we expected based on our analysis. So how does it look? Seems to be holding water. Well, it's whole and intact, and the container really bulges. Well, the demolition man and his wrecking ball tried as hard as he could to destroy this hard ox steel container, but he had no luck. This hard ox is pretty incredible stuff. 
But the question still remains if it can resist the tests in our next show. See you next time.